Welcome back to The Tease, the place where we tease the scripture before we jump into it big time on Sunday. So we have been moving through chapter 6 through chapter 7. Last week we got through chapter 8, which was getting really into the hope of, wait, hold up. You are not a slave to sin. You are not a slave to fear. But you are actually now been reborn by the Spirit. The Spirit has come inside you, not outside you taken over who you are or if you choose if you choose to accept the spirit into your heart so what do you do with it well chapter 8 continues for us to say well are we ready for that and that's where we pick up this week god is now uh speaking through paul and using paul as this great instrument uh to say are you and me really ready for this idea of being completely blessed and adopted by the holy spirit if if we are then we can no longer use the excuse of the devil made me do it. We can't talk about this idea of, well, I'm just only human. These things we can say, absolutely, but more than more times than not, we need to look and repeat these words of saying, you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. You didn't. That's not the game we're playing now. We're not accepting we're just fearful beings that are like little animals and mammals running around reacting because of fear. Because you have received a spirit of adoption. So when we cry, Abba, Father, our, our true Father, our Father's not sin anymore. Not these thoughts of despair. Not these thoughts of, oh, you're not really good enough. Not these thoughts of, well, you're just human. Go do some silly, stupid things. No. You have a new Father. You've been adopted by the Spirit. So it is that very Spirit bearing witness with our Spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs... Heirs of God, then joint heirs with Christ. This is big stuff. Are we willing and um, capable of accepting it? Just because we've been forgiven doesn't mean we've been freed. Are you willing to be free from your own limiting beliefs to accept the fullness that comes with being this lovely child of God? What are those thoughts that you carry inside of your heart, inside of your mind, that limit you from accepting God's love for you. Before this Sunday, I, I, I want you to think of just one, one place in your mind, in your heart, where you carry maybe a little bit too much guilt, where you carry a little bit too much uh, self-defeatism. Bring that to church this Sunday. Let's take it on. Let's lift it up to enter to the glory that God has prepared and is offered freely to you and to me if we can just get past the biggest obstacle usually, which is ourselves. See you this Sunday.